Today uh, I'm going to uh, to a sightseeing place, which is called the Dongling Temple. I think it's a, Bo a Buddhism temple uh, close to the Shanghai city. It takes like uh, almost one hour to get there. So let's check it out. So this is the 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 ticket office, and uh, like they put this uh, uh, white slip over here to tell us the people this temple is closed down, and when it will uh, be reopened, there's no um, exactly date about that. So I don't know when they will uh, reopen this temple. Yo, what's up, guys? Today um, I found this temple. It was like supposed to be open because I found it on the map and uh, on the map it shows like this one opened up to like 4 p.m. in the afternoon but we drive we drove like almost a one hour to come here but this one is ceased so uh, it's not open to the public right now uh, what we can do is uh, probably we walk around this area because uh, it is uh, quite uh, ancient uh, uh, suburb and uh, there we go Ah, you know, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to and pray uh, for the Buddha and I was asking her um, what uh, she is uh, pray for and she told me like uh, she came here like each month in the first day of the lunar calendar so they will come here to pray for like good life and uh, fortune pray for, for the, the healthy of the, the family etc so it's uh, it's like traditional Chinese uh, religion over this area, and I was also asking her if this temple is a new build up or, or old, but she didn't tell me. And uh, but anyway, it uh, you see people were still on the bridge and praying at, at right now. <laughs> Buddhism used to be a widely spread religion along with Taoism established the foundation of traditional Chinese culture. I'm not a religious guy but I was told by my grandmother that Taoism is the originated Chinese Han religion and later on Buddhism was widely spread since Han or Tang dynasty. Now you see the old generations are still truly believe it but fairly, you see, younger generation has interest on it. It is a sad story though. We, we just found this uh, sign, which is the uh, introduction of the temple. And uh, so, as it interested, uh, introduced, sorry, um, this temple was built during uh, the Yuan Dynasty. So it was like 13th century. So it was quite a long time ago. Uh, Avaloki Tesvara. I don't know uh, what is uh, this one mean, but uh, it was uh, the old name of uh, this temple. Uh, and uh, anything else? Uh, so this 
this was a small shrine, but now the Chinese government renovated everything and rebuilt a lot of uh, architectures uh, behind. So now, since 2004, this one became to uh, look like this. <laughs> Finish all the visiting, and it's almost like uh, we can only see this uh, uh, empty uh, ground. But uh, it's interesting that you see those slogans and they're hanging on this fence, and uh, basically it tells the people to wash their hands, to keep hygiene, as you know, the, the virus things which is going on still, the uh, epidemic and uh, you have to open your doors and uh, let the air drafting around your your room and put on a mask so it's basically an education thing that tell, tells the people uh, how to protect themselves during the uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic and it's pretty much uh, what we can uh, see um, today in this area but uh, this one this uh, uh, Dongling temple which is quite good you, you got uh, if you uh, move the camera so this is the main gate of the temple it's like uh, uh, renovated uh, recently and you see those uh, like shining golden uh, uh, pagodas or whatever on the top of the gate and uh, behind that you, you almost see a, a, a hill and you, you, you can see those uh, ancient uh, Chinese if you move the camera over this direction so these are the ancient traditional Chinese temple which is built um, uh, like underneath the, the hill but uh, like once you they are open like you can climb up to the top and there's a gigantic Buddha over there so uh, but the, it's pity that uh, we are not able to uh, get in um, maybe uh, after several weeks when they reopen I'll come here once again and uh, get inside and show all these ch traditional Chinese temple inside all right guys so uh, now we are going to uh, just uh, walk around this ancient uh, town and uh, it's got like all the old uh, buildings etc so we are going to find it out We are just entering this uh, like small area block. It, it goes like 200 meters, and uh, there's a, a tent over there, uh, as you saw. And uh, there's a person who checks uh, the body temperature for everyone trying to access these jobs. And uh, we did the same, and we also uh, register our names and uh, contact uh, cell phone number, etc. So we got chance to have a look around here. So this Huawei is still open to uh, to the customers, and you don't you don't see anyone getting to here and buy a cell phone. We find a, a better spot, which is better than the the bridge in front of uh, uh, the main gate. Now I got uh, I can like cross over here and have an overview of the uh, entrance of this temple. I think. Uh, this place is much better, so I'm going to jump off. 
So there's a, a camera over there. So if someone across the fence, I think it will be alerted and you will be caught by the security guard. Okay guys, thanks for watching. And this is the first part of Jingshan suburb of Shanghai. If you think it is interesting, please also wait and watch part 2. Don't forget to support my channel and subscribe. See you lovely guys next time.